to Curry TV. Today we'll be making an authentic Kotem dish, which is my hometown, Kotem. It's a state in Kerala, and we'll be making yellow cucumber, green mango, and coconut gravy. Let's take a look at all the ingredients that we need. For this recipe, we'll be using yellow cucumber. That's an Asian. It's available in Asian stores, and green mango. How do you tell if this mango is green? It's pretty firm. We'll be taking off the skin and cutting them into small bite-sized pieces. And I'll be using green chilies, curry leaves, coconut, shallots, coconut oil, cumin, mustard, turmeric, salt to taste, and red chilies. We'll be making a fine paste of coconut with cumin. This is one and a half cup of coconut along with one teaspoon of cumin. So let me cut these guys up and I'll be right back. So there you have it. Our cucumber is cut into big size, bite sized pieces and our green mango. The, if your green mango is sour, use accordingly. If you don't want it too sour. And I also ground pasted that coconut and cumin together into fine paste. This is what we were looking for. So let's get started. You need a bigger pot. This is a gravy. So. First, I'm adding in my cucumber. To that, I'm putting in some water. Just enough to cover it. So, depend on, depending on the size of the cucumber that you get, it may vary. And, we'll be adding turmeric powder. Quarter teaspoon. We are not adding the mango at this stage. We need the cucumber to cook about 50% of the way. To this, I'm adding three green chilies because we are not adding any other spices. Let's wait for this to be cooked. All right, let's check on our cucumber. Perfect. This bright yellow color is what we are looking for. Our gravy is going to be in yellow. And it doesn't take much time to get this cooked. You can check by pressing in on it so it, it is cutting up. That's what we need. The mango that I have here is pretty sour. So though it looks yellow, it's pretty sour. So I'm just going to be adding half of this. This is a whole mango. Maybe a few more. Okay. The water level is perfect because we'll be adding that coconut gravy so it will thicken up. At this stage, I like to add a few sprigs of curry leaves. I'm not cutting that up. or rip them from a part. Let's cover and cook for another five minutes. Okay, let's check on our mango and ooh, look at that bright yellow color. Mmm, nice. You wanna get that mango to bite into it, so you don't wanna get it too smooshy. So this is perfect. Actually, I'm happy with this one. We should add salt. Check your salt level because of this. The mango is pretty sour, so please check before you put your salt. My salt is perfect. It is up front a bit because I am going to be adding this coconut paste. It's a fine paste. I've ground that one teaspoon of cumin along with a cup and a half of freshly grated coconut. Adding that into this. Let's give it a mix.
this is perfect okay we are done with this dish we just need to garnish it we need to do the tempering so I'm going to turn off my heat and cover so let's do the tempering I'm adding generous amount of coconut oil two should be enough once the oil is heated, let's add in our mustard. It's up to you how much you want. I like it just a little bit, so I'm adding only one teaspoon. Fireworks has begun. Let's add in our shallots. One teaspoonful. To that, I'm going to be adding two red chilies, breaking them apart, and fused curry leaves. Ooh. That's good. Turn off the heat. Let's, do, let's bring that over. Let's garnish this dish. There we go. I've seen this with when my mama cooks. Just pours that last bit of it in. Get all that juice out. Now we need to let this sit for maybe five minutes to just sink up all that flavor in. Just cover it. guys you won't believe the aroma from this curry is just breathtaking so our curry is all done I'm giving that final stir oh goodness it's perfect Bring back, brings back so much of memory So let's give it a try. To accompany this, uh, one of the, my favorite is a mango chutney. I'll share my recipe with you. But, ta-da! I have some mango chutney and a bowl of rice. We are in, we are in heaven. Let's just pour some of that. And a bit of our mango chutney. Oof. It's really hot. Thinking of my grandma, grandpa, they used to have this almost every, every time when we were there. mango is pretty sour so it accompanies that yellow cucumber along with the coconut chutney or the coconut gravy that we just made as you can see I can't stop eating this great goodness so please give it a try let me know how it came out for you I'll be waiting to hear your feedbacks do subscribe to our channel I'll see you next time Thanks for watching Curry TV. Oh, na la puliero. Ay. Oh, idu adu me matra mari. Idu.